Hello, my name is Jeff, and welcome to my channel, Bird Singer of Independence. Hi, guys. I'm Eve. Today, what we're going to talk about is my girl decided she wanted to come down here to be with me. All right, it's been like two years. All right, uh, it was last August. What is it? September now. Yeah. And what it was is we hadn't had a chance to really be together, and she came up with this idea of going to Costa Rica. So some of the requirements, for example, was like I had to do, I had to get an apostyle, which basically said that I was going to shoulder the responsibility of the bills for her and myself. Well, myself, obviously, but for her also. With that being said, that did not give her permission to go through the United States on a flight. I had to buy a flight that went all the way around the United States. What did you go through? Turkey? What was the route you took? So I took Manila to Istanbul, Istanbul to Panama, Panama to San Jose, Costa Rica. I got two layovers. <laughs> I then turned around, because we're over here by Liberia, uh, she had to turn around and get a ride from somebody all the way here. She got here a day before me, so it was all on her. She, she had to figure that all out on her own. Well, with my credit card, or debit card, of course. <laughs> My poor debit card. It just, it just, okay. This, this whole it. this whole thing here, and my, my poor debit card just got beat up, all right? Seriously. Hey, all right, so it. then I had to mail the apostyle to her. Now, the apostyle cost me 10 bucks through my, uh, what was it, Missouri State, right? Because yeah. I'm from Missouri. Uh, but then to mail it to her cost me $152 because she claimed she needed it. Did they ever look at it? Nope, because we are under K1. Didn't ask. So, what it was is... I got a room in Costa Rica. It cost me nine hundred twenty-two dollars. Going through the Airbnb, we got a nice, beautiful place, pool, whole nine yards. One day before, because keep my got the day ahead of me, almost two days, because her flight was like what a total of travel time was what forty hours. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, like forty. Forty hours. So she had like a total travel time of like forty hours. So what had she? So I got the room a whole day ahead of time, and like I said, that was nine hundred and twenty-two dollars. Then we got the uh, highway patrol. She said she needed me to do a background check. That cost me another sixteen dollars. Did you did you need that at all? They didn't check on it. <laughs> More money shot out the window. I it's mean, okay. That's okay. Hand over fist, people. Hand over fist. Money just, pfft, just going out the window. All right. Then I had to pay for my plane ticket. It was three hundred seven dollars. Her plane ticket to go all the way around like she had to because of course the United States, you know, I can't get a travel visa for her. Thirty-four hundred dollars. Oh, it's actually thirty-six, twelve dollars, three thousand six hundred twelve dollars. Yeah, it kept going up because uh, there was. That's right. There was another flight from Liberia to San Jose uh, for her to get over there or to go back home. So it was another two hundred what twenty dollars, wasn't it? Yeah, something like that, or one sixteen. So yeah, I, I refer to this as the Costa Rica butt fuckery budget. <laughs> all right. I even came with $500 cash uh, for our expenses for a week. Yeah, we blew through that. That, that was gone. It's yeah, gone it's already. Kind of, the, the products here is kind of expensive. <laughs> what? She's kind of expensive. <laughs> yeah, she, she wants to go out every day, uh, which I understand. She's on vacation, so she wants to see things. Uh, me and myself, like I said, I'm a truck driver. I'm, I got two truck jobs, plus I got my real estate. Yeah, I'm happy just sitting down for a minute, letting the world turn, you know? <laughs> All right, so she's going to kind of go through some of the things that she had to. She made a list right here. Uh, right here, you got the, what's this, Commission of Filipino Overseas? Yeah, that's the first thing you need to do is to register there. And then when you register there, they will going to send you an email when you will be your counselor. Speak up. All right, she's got an affidavit of support and guarantee. Garn Yes. Notarized and apostate. All right, what does that mean exactly? I don't know. In your country. <laughs> oh, this is something I had to do. Yeah, that, that's the one that she did from state oh, secretary. Oh, the thing she didn't need. All right, so uh, her plane ticket. All right, which I paid for round trip, not round way. Okay, round trip. Uh, travel insurance. That is something else you will need. They do ask for that at the airport before you even come here. They want to see, see that you got the COVID test. The vaccination, well, either or on that one. Uh, they also want to be able to see that you got travel insurance. Yes, uh, for COVID. With. And of course, you get, you enter that into your phone for the documentation that you got to do travel. All right. So, of course, you got to have your passports, obviously. 
Yeah, his passport. They asked for it. Oh, they wanted to see my passport in your country? Yeah, they looked. Before they, you they leave? Asked, yeah, they asked for it in the immigration. Yeah, they asked for it. Craziest thing ever. I mean, why would you need to see my passport for her to leave? Maybe. Maybe. Moving forward. <laughs> All right, so this is what? The ticket of... Boyfriend or fiancé. I also print out his ticket or plane ticket. Oh, my plane ticket. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, what's this? Hotel quarantine accommodation. They all some mostly or sometimes the immigration officer ask for the hotel quarantine accommodation so that they will know if you're really gonna come back. So that that's should there. be that's for the United States. You ain't gotta worry about that. But for 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 the Filipinos, that's something I guess you need to do. Yeah, you also need to check if it's accredited by Department of Health because every now and then they change it. So yeah, you better check. So you gotta do a negative COVID test also. Yeah, before I, before my flight. Oh, I even though that. you, even though you already had the vaccination. Yeah. You still, still had to do a COVID test. Yeah. So that's the. In the United States, you only need one or the other. Uh, I did both, uh, just because she was like stupid excited about how uh, she got a negative test. I was like, well, I want to share in the excitement. So. All right, so what we got here? We got proof of... Wait, wait, the, the last thing is the Paso de Salud health declaration. If you're going here in Costa Rica, they're also going to look... You need to fill up that form and also attach there your RT-PCR test negative result. And then they're going to give... After you fill up that form, they're going to give you a QR code. That's your QR code. And then they're also going to look at in immigration and then in airport here in costa rica so what we got here is a proof of relationship that was something else that she had to provide for the filipino immigration right yep this is all for the this is just to get on the airplane and what sucks is you don't know if you're gonna get through it or not until you go get on the plane yep this is like last minute you know uh we kept hearing these horror stories of all these people being turned around and what it was is like some of them had never met their fiancés or boyfriends, whatever the case may be, yep. and they were getting turned around. Uh, some excuses I think she said she heard was, uh, you're too young, uh, you didn't know him that well. Mm. I mean, I, I told her straight up, if that happens, get loud. Don't get just loud, get black loud, okay? And what that means is if somebody says, oh, you're too young, get loud and say, I don't care how young I am, I'm still not going to date you. Yeah, turn that shit around and get loud. Let everybody hear it. Trust me, I call it black loud. It is, it is hilarious. <laughs> it is way, way funny. Don't do that. They really are gonna upload it. You <laughs> don't do it. Don't mind. Do this. it. Trust me. I, in my head, that guy's gonna stop asking stupid questions if enough people did it. Trust no, me. No, no, no. You should be polite <laughs> to immigration officer. Actually. Also in the check-in, they're going to ask you lots of papers. Which that's is, that's what we're going through right here, yeah. anyway. All right, so, so a proof of relationship, what did they actually look at? Um, <coughs> um, the colleagues, the conversation, and chat, chat messages, and, and also the video calls. I mean, the screenshot of your, when you're talking you know the, that's they're asking or if uh, if you met already they're going to ask the picture together so take lots of naked pictures of yourselves oh. <laughs> <laughs> that way it shows proof hey we have seen each other but no no need, no need for that they just gonna look if you really and if he really wants to look at it that good <laughs> pull it out guys pull it out <laughs> No, we'll let that no, officer no, show no. show him what you got. Don't be bashful. No, 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 no. Don't mind okay, him. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking right. shit. So, supportive documents here. You show one down here. The K-1 visa. Uh, that's something that we're going through. Uh, like I said, we've already met each other when we are in the Philippines. Uh, this is our second time uh, being... This is the most expensive time we've been together. I'm going to emphasize that greatly. Because this is not a cheap way of doing that. Some of the other things that she had prepared just in case because i guess she's heard stories about other people saying oh they heard this they heard that da, da, da. so we got like supporting documents she wanted copies of my bank statements and uh, also your bank statement oh yours too yeah they're going to ask for it okay uh certi certification of employment that must be yours 
Certificate of Employment or COE if you are employed. If you are not, uh, if you are unemployed, that's okay. You will just tell them you are in, unemployed. It's a say. Pay slip or pay stub. If you are employed, of course you have pay slip. You should have the copy of that. I mean, print it out. If they ask, you show it to them. Because you had mine too, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, she had mine. Did they all of this. <laughs> all right, so uh, divorce decree. Yes. You've if been divorced? You. I know. So anyway, uh, they wanted a copy of the divorce decree. I don't know why. I don't know why that would matter. But the, they didn't ask her for it, but she, it's something that she heard. Uh, what's this here? Business permit. If ever you are self-employed, so show them that you have a business permit. Or show them that you have, um, what do you call that? A permit to run a business? Yeah. And then lastly, the K1 visa. So we were up through March 2020, and I Sorry, also. Huh? I already had the conversation about the K1. Okay, I was gonna say the Manila case number. When we get approved, they also gave the Manila case number. All right, so we'll clock back in here. All right, so we're gonna touch back on the K1 visa just a little bit here. I guess she said something about the case number, and what's this right here? Um, notice of action one and two. Okay, so I don't know what that is. She takes care of most of this stuff for me because she's got the brains. I got the beauty. <laughs> 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 so what it is is, uh, yeah, it, it was a lot of stuff that we had to go through. Uh, uh, apparently, it wasn't too bad for her. Like she went through immigration. He must have. He I mean, must have been in a good mood because I'm looking at this list here, and she's only got like half of it checked. Yes, I went overboard, but that's okay. Then to get afloated. It's better to prepare all that shit that you need or all the papers that you need then to get uploaded. Well, it's better to be prepared than not. So, and that's what we're trying to do here is we're trying to let you guys know that, hey, you know, if you've got a Filipino loved one and you want to go to Costa Rica so you can be with them, uh, we also just found out was a Thailand just opened up. Yeah, they're planning. Oh, they're, they're talking about it. Okay, they yeah. haven't opened up yet. Uh, she was teasing me with that one, I guess. But, uh, yeah, so... There's options out there. This is the one that we chose was Costa Rica. If this was any help to you, go ahead and share this with some of your friends. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. But yeah, hey, subscribe. Sure. We're gonna have more videos like this. So thank you and have a good day. Wait, 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 I have a tip. If ever you guys never met, I mean you and your boyfriend never met, no no don't book your I mean don't depart in Naia Terminal 3 because they don't really gonna let you go. It should be in Clark or Cebu. You have a chance. As long as you have um, complete documents, you will go. 